All right, I don't know what sign I was on. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to go back and see. Okay, I think I was on Capricorn, okay. And so uh, now we are on Aquarius then. Okay, so Aquarius, let's see what um, the wheel brings us today. Okay, so this is for August. Um, Aquarius in August, please, thank you. Aquarius in August, please, thank you. Aquarius in August, please, thank you. Woo! One flew out. Aquarius in August. Last call. Another one, two more. Woo, one flipped in the back, one another one. <laughs> Last call. Aquarius. Let's see. This was the first one out. Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh. Everyone's getting that today. Not everyone, but it's all been about communication and fast communication. Okay. So this came out. Page of Pentacles. Okay. Knight of Cups. Okay. Let's read this. You are in the ear. You are in the mind. You are in every burning heart. What am I saying? You are I. Okay, so unity energy is coming up. Okay. Okay, unity energy. Okay, feeling like uh, collective energy here that's uh, in union or in concert with each other and have a common loving interest. Okay. Knight of Cups. Okay. So you may be dealing with some, for some of you, it might be dealing with some, uh, younger, feel like they could be old, but feeling like you're dealing with some younger energies and you don't really know what is going to manifest next. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Okay, so uh, for some of you, you're concerned about the money situation. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on with that. For some of you, it's like uh, whatever this, it could be, this could be like uh, feeling like a tornado came in. But, and then trying to choose what direction to go in. So whatever the direction is, move in the direction of love. Okay, and sometimes loving yourself and loving your collective, right, is the way out, okay, of this Five of Pentacles money situation. So know that the money is going to improve, they said. Okay, so as we create space for knowing that it's going to, uh, there's an infinite supply and, uh, Okay, so the other thing I'm getting right now is prepare for the winter. Okay. Prepare for the winter and put some money aside for the winter, something about that. And then um, in the winter, keep moving. When you feel like things aren't mo that's the thing. That was the message I got this morning. It was like, when you feel like things aren't moving or things aren't moving in the way you had imagined, that's when you bring in the creator energy because that means that if it feels like a simulation, uh, that means you're probably living out something someone in the collective created. Now, it's all dandy and fine and good, and you can keep moving along in it, but as you bring in your wands of creation and move with them, right, and keep 
going in different directions to bring in the pinnacles and move in a loving way here, right? And offer your um, energy, loving energy. I feel like this, it's like this will override any kind of um, money situation here. Okay. Focus on love and your loving connections when money doesn't seem that great. Okay. And that, for some of you, that uh, it's not escaping. It's like being a creator and focusing uh, on what will come in next. Okay. It's like that. Okay. So let's see. There are people that are supporting you and loving you with this unity energy. Okay. All right. That's nice, Aquarius. Okay. For some of you, you're single and you're not sure which direction to go in with love. It's like, should I stay or should I go? Okay. Something like that's coming in. What's on the top? Woo! Okay. Now, uh, Mars is in Virgo right now. And then it's going into Libra. So the challenge is, uh, could be with this Libran energy. Now let's talk about this. It might not be a person. It might be indecision. Okay, so it's like, Move with one pointed focus in a direction and then let it manifest. Then move in another one pointed focus and let it manifest, right? It's like if you have a lot of buns in the oven and you're giving all your energy in all these different directions and you feel like nothing is manifesting, then what you need to do is spend more dominant time on one thing one manifestation then the next and then the next while you keep these warm you keep it's like bread while you keep these buns in the oven you uh, focus on the one right all right something like that okay all right now i feel like this is the in and out energy because they're talking about balancing the scales so it's like one minute they say one thing and the one minute they do another and uh, they suppress their emotions and feelings and they don't show it and this could be confusing energy. Okay. All right, so what about that? Yeah, they're hiding whatever they're they're hiding it. So um and they it's like they don't move then they move and then it's like back and forth. Okay, and they hide a lot of stuff. But their pool, this magnetic pool, is that Neptune retrograde. And so it's like they feel compelled to keep coming towards you, whoever this Libra is. And what they're hiding is they want a happy ending. But now they, they're, if they're not... Yeah... Yeah, so they're acting like they have all these other things to, uh, they were acting like they had all these other things that they could give to, right? And uh, that you weren't important and you were. All right, well. And they want a new beginning and they're hoping for a new beginning. Yeah, they wanted, they want um, the pinnacle too. Let's look at that though. Okay, so spring and summer, princess of wands and princess of pinnacles. Okay, through spring and summer, keep planting those seeds. That's what I'm getting. Okay, keep planting those seeds, spring and summer. It's like, look. This one planted those uh, seeds that would bring in money 
and if we're and look at the flowers here right it's just like any material stuff it doesn't have to be flowers if you plant the seeds they will blossom okay and just the key is that summer energy staying positive no matter what's going on in the outside world being like the spring energy continuing to move in hope uh, and uh, of the unfolding okay all right what's next yeah see the pinnacles so keep doing the collaboration energy is here mercury uh, continue to communicate that's what I'm getting here okay now I feel like this dragon energy is like oh wow that kind of reminds me of the fish a little bit that I saw today hmm. all right let's keep going they're holding on it's their mind the scorpio mind that's the they're holding on why are they holding on if they're being funky okay what is this okay so they have unhealth five of wands reversed they have an unhealthy view of competition and that's what gets them in trouble but deep down this is what they want their soul is calling for it. Oh. That's interesting. It's like anything that they feel, anything that they feel competition towards. This could be an Aries. It doesn't have to be a Libra. It could be Aries, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Gemini, Sagittarius. That's what I'm getting. All right. Anyway. Okay. So let's say it was a Libra since that's what came up first. All right. But when I say Libra, it could be some other sign. But okay. So and because of their unhealthy view of competition they even destroy their friendships the friends that love them their personal life is like that too it's like they don't they have trust issues they have trust issues that's what the problem is they're like that with their lovers or wife uh, and co-workers and uh, their friends that gave everything to them so if we're looking at this Gemini energy not as a person as a soulmate energy then their unhealthy views of competition is what caused entanglement with you that's for someone okay now now there is a potential for healing this but then the question is do you really want to uh, go there because I feel like the prosperity even though it may have felt a little slow here right I feel like is it's like forgiving the energy but then continue to move in your own direction that's what I'm getting okay Yeah, it's like they, they don't communicate well. They hide there in a little shell. Now, for they want to offer love. And they want money to come in. So for some of you, your money's coming in and their money's not coming in. So they feel like... Uh, by being with you and working with you that the flow could come back in 
Okay, so that's for somebody. Now that was coming up in the Sagittarius reading I did before. No, that was a Virgo reading. Huh. So this one who has a Sagittarius or Scorpio mind, I wanna say, needs to work, I don't know why it's here. They need to work on their family connections. And whoever that person is, if they work on their family connections and improve that, um, then everything else will fall into place. Now that came up in the Scorpio reading. Okay. Oh my gosh, the next card is Scorpio. And that's why if you keep seeing uh, this one caused destruction and havoc, right? It's because they haven't made peace within their own framework. And that's what caused them to go back and forth energy, teeter-totter, indecision, um, not communicating, and all this funky stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Libra came up. This is Libra scales again, and one's tipped over. Okay, so that loving, feminine, receptive energy is what's going to bring in money for you. Okay, and Seven of Wands. What is that? Okay, so this is like defending your position and playing new sounds. This is a harp. Playing a new sounds to see the manifestation of your new reality. Defending your position, okay. Yeah, I keep picking up, there's this feminine energy that's gonna, uh, th that receptive, open, loving energy is what's gonna take you through winter. But they're suggesting to keep planting those seeds to prepare for winter. Okay. Yeah, again, this is a Scorpio mind. That's what I'm getting for someone. But there is love, whoever this is, this shadowy energy. They just have a hard time showing it. Now, for some of you, this is not shadow energy. This is a Capricorn sign, an earth sign, or someone who's an earth sign or a water sign that's been working diligently towards bringing in stability, balance, harmony, unity. Okay. And I feel like that's you on some level. Okay. Okay, so... So you got the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So see, that's, again, it tells me that the money is going to come in through uh, this new beginnings, new ideas. Uh, this loving energy brings in the Pentacles. Okay, so continue in that space. So if that could be a mirror, right? It's like, can, if your things haven't been working out, it could be suggesting to improve your family dynamic and then uh, you'll see your uh, love life blossom and your work life blossom. And that's what I'm getting. So let's see the work thing. I wanna see if there's any cards here that will help 
open up some doors here. All right, let's see. Money and love. Okay, so it's like, don't just think about money and love and all that. Think about your health, too. Add fiber to your diet, right? And that helps. Oh, okay. So, see, that helps your DNA. And as you help your DNA, and that is also your crystalline body. Okay, so, um, so that's the thing. It's like if you're seeing destruction in the physical world, right? Okay, then if you work on your crystalline body, the reformation of that through what you ingest, mind, body, and spirit, uh, then you can see the improvement or the change in the physical. Okay, so that's that. Let's see what else comes out. Time management. Okay, so broaden your cultural horizons. Keep reaching for new places. Okay, so it's like, um, you know what I'm getting? Okay, I'm just doing this so you could screenshot. What I'm getting is, okay, so let's say that you have uh, business partners in different parts of the world. How about uh, meeting up with them in some kind of fun place, right? Okay. This is not for people who have security things. Okay, this is for... Uh, just the anyone okay so who it's like instead of meeting in the office and going to the thing why don't you meet at some sort of art show or something like that and and then uh, have uh, tea later or whatever and do your business meeting something like that it doesn't have to be a long thing it just could be a quick uh, thing and and then you know that kind of opens up really getting to know who these people are that you're doing business with or whether you really want to even do business with them right especially if you had some sort of work condition in the past that didn't feel so good that goes for love life too okay so vote someone off the island that's what I'm that's what I was picking up. And as you do that, you can narrow down who deserves your time, right? So what are you giving your energy to in mind, right? Okay. So can can you vote someone off your mind? <laughs> okay, that's for somebody. Okay, so this is coming up again. This came up in another person's reading. Becoming full proof about news, right? It's like um, if you're in politics, staying on top of things and finding a source that is uh, um, reliable. Doesn't have opinion in it. Okay. Okay, you keep getting health cards, so maybe health is on your mind. I feel like that's important in August to help energize your new beginnings, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. So work on improving your communication skills. Okay, so you got the Capricorn card, right? The, the Devil card. That is... Uh, it was coming up for them, too. Improving communication skills. Okay. So if you've been harnessing that energy, it could be asking you to uh, take a look at that. Now, host a mingling party. Okay. So it could be like potluck dinner, uh, things like that, right? Okay. Okay. 
Also, the flow. The flow of money comes in as we also give to things, right? So what are we giving to? Because as you give, you, you also receive. That's the good karma, right, that comes back. So take a look at that. Have you been giving to anything, right? Okay, now if you've been giving too much, uh, like in time, uh, you might reconsider uh, creating space for the things that are important to you in August, even now. Okay, so I feel like that's what's going to bring in. Uh... Also, I feel like this is important for uh, Aquarians. Self-compassion, right? Emotional first aid on self. And it's never too late to have a happy childhood. That's what I say. Okay. That's for someone. All right. So, because I'm getting inner child here. It's like have compassion and nurture that inner child. And uh, things, again, will... Um, it's like you assimilate what you learned into the now and then you can move on from that and that will help you rise in all areas of your life okay and I got yoga for someone try different kinds of yoga okay so leave the past behind yep that's what I got okay work through feelings right forgive that's practicing freedom it's not saying what they did was okay it's like I forgive you because I free myself from you and what you did yeah and you might go see for someone the Scorpio reading it was about family dynamics but it was like handling that fire energy. It's like instead of reaching for extreme uh, things, it's like practicing moderation. And sometimes that's harder than we think. <laughs> but if you do go there, forgiving yourself too for that, right? Okay. All right. New moon in Virgo. Trust will, uh, trust all will be well. And if you know a Virgo in your life, that could be what they're trying to show you, no matter what happens, right? Okay. Release your blocks. That's Scorpio. Okay, energy. All right, and focus on the positive. All right, so I, f I see you focusing on the positive in August, very definitely. And freeing yourself from the past ties that bind. That's what I see. All right, so letting go of entanglements of the past and moving in a new direction. So set your new intentions now. Keep creating. That's what brings in the new. Okay, and what is this? Invite peace. Okay, so that's what I feel like you're starting to get a handle on that, on how to do that in your everyday Of gratitude. This is like relax, right? Everything's going to work out. 11. So this is you being in the leadership or in the public eye for some of you. And um, playing the harp in a new direction. And trust your wisdom. Yeah, and the key here with the Unleash Your Passion is keep moving that fire energy. Okay, and through exercise and movement, that can help release some of that pent-up energy. That's what I'm getting. So, uh, as you get together with loving people and uh, connect and communicate and, and uh, do new things, I feel like you'll find an outlet for some of that um, 